where you can get all you can eat Maine lobster. I mean, you can get as many of them as you want. They're constantly steaming them, constantly cooking them up. They're awesome Maine lobsters, not just the tails, but the whole thing, and crab legs, and oysters, and shrimp, and spice shrimp, and fried calamari, and prime rib. I mean, everything you could think of, wish for, and want, they've got it in there on the buffet. It's, it's awesome. So why don't you guys come on the side with us, let's check it out together, and I'll show you what we're gonna get. All right. All right, let's take a look here. We'll start at this end. Fresh oysters, locks, looks so good. Right on the ice. All of your cocktail sauce, lemon. Let's see, what do we have? This is the sushi. Cream cheese, smoked salmon, Caesar salad. Yeah, crawfish. Spiced peel and eat shrimps, the mussels. Some of your different types of salads are jellos, coleslaw chickpea salad, cucumber salad, shrimp salad. It's really, really, really good. Then once we get over to the hot side, we've got the Southwest green mussels. Oyster Rockefeller with bacon. It looks so good. These are the steamed mussels in garlic, crawfish. Oh my God, stuffed shrimp. Look at that. Definitely be getting in on those. Coming around, all of our different soups. We've got Manhattan clam chowder, broccoli cheese and soup, and clam chowder. Looks and smells great. The blackened salmon, tilapia, tuna fish. And I'm not sure what the tuna fish has on it. Maybe like a little bit of a barbecue sauce. Crab cakes, barbecue ribs, I and mean, they have something for everybody. London broil, all your mashed potatoes, your rice, your corns, your green greens, mixed vegetables, onion rings. These are your, like your fried seafood. You have your fried fish, your calamari, fried clam strips. The chicken fingers are awesome. I always get the chicken fingers when I come here. It's really, really, really good. It's awesome. And right there in the kitchen, they just keep bringing out trays and trays of fresh hot food, including the steamed crabs, the steamed lobster tails, lo actually whole main lobsters, prime rib. Prime rib looks really good. Different types of dinner rolls. All right, and then when you come around this side is when you really get into the goodies. We got the crab legs. Hot melted butter, the pasta, the sauce, meatballs. This is seafood au gratin, Creole shrimp. And there are the lobsters, and they look awesome. Check that out. All you can eat. Where else can you where else can you go where you can get all you can eat main lobsters? It's great. Alright, well first I think I want to try the salmon. So let's give the salmon a shot. It looks like it's blackened salmon, it's spiced. Mm. The salmon is really, really good. It's not, um, it's not overcooked. It's not dry. I would say it's cooked to perfection. Um, the seasoning is not overwhelming, so you can still get a good taste of the fish, of the flavor of the salmon. The salmon is really good. Mm. I actually tried dipping it in my butter a little bit. Okay, yeah. Salmon is great. Let's give let's give the Creole shrimp a try. Mm. Oh wow. Wow, the Creole shrimp are awesome. I would say that's like a um, some tomato based sauce. 
lightly spiced, maybe almost like a little tinge of Old Bay seasoning or something like that on it, but um, it's lightly spiced. The tomato sauce is very good. Creole shrimp's a winner. Next, we'll try the stuffed shrimp. I don't know if you can see that or not. I've had, you know, it's kind of like a kind of like a shrimp crab cake in a way almost. It's a breading, like a seafood crab cake breading. Mm. Oh wow, that's good. Yeah, that's really good. Mm. Yum. So far, everything I've tried is awesome. Mmm. Everything on this dish so far is a seafood lover's paradise. Now we're getting to the goods of their crab legs. A little pull, take the bone out, a little crack. The meat. I'm sorry, but there's nothing like a crab. I don't know, I can eat every other type of seafood, but there's just something about a crab that's just amazing. Do a little, little dip in the hot butter. Mm. They're huge too. I don't know how well you can see that, but the size of the crab one is massive. And they're, they're, they're steamed just right so that they crack perfectly. Look at that. You don't even need a crab cracker. It's not even necessary. The shell just breaks. And then the beef, let's give that a shot. There we go. Mm. Beef is good. I have to go back and check to see exactly what kind of beef this is, but it's very good. Not overly seasoned, it's charred. You can see it's charred. It tastes great. You're definitely not gonna have a problem finding something to eat at the Boston Lobster Feast, I can tell you that much. All right, I'm gonna keep working on this. I'll get back with you. All right. Well, this is the main reason why we came here is for all you can eat main lobster. I'd say they're about pound, pound and a half lobsters, but who cares because you get as many of them as you want. I mean, they're just constantly pumping them out. So it is one at a time to the table, so don't be too greedy. Um, this one was missing a claw, so the nice lady up there, she gave me two extras. So now I have three claws, so that worked out good. Let's start with the knuckle. Immediately we got some meat on that one, which is good. A little, a little water's coming. Use my little bucket here to drain that. They'll give you bibs, by the way. If you want a lobster bib, you can get one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be risky and try and do this without a bib. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. I am a main lobster kind of guy. For this claw, I'm gonna need a cracker. Give it a little crack. Pull the meat out. Actually, that's a good piece. There's no uh, no fat on that at all. Under a little, little dip. Mm, very good. Nice, nice meat. Nice and hot. <laughs> you know what? Let's, should I clean the tail? Yeah, I'll clean the tail. All right, let's get the tail going here next. I'm gonna do this over the bucket. Well, I'm not a New England crab, uh, I'm sorry, New England lobster cleaner master, but I have a little bit of experience doing this. Let it drain into the bucket. I always just try to kind of relax it, if that's the right word, <laughs> or separate the meat from the shell. I cut down the, the tail. I know some people, they have a skill where they can just push the meat out with a with a fork once they break this off. But I don't have that skill, so I kind of do this way. Grab the meat, get it. There we go. I'll cut this ugly stuff off, the shell there. 
Put that ugliness off of there. I think my grandmother, she used to actually eat this. I think it's called roe, if I'm not mistaken. You can tell me in the comments if you can eat the red stuff or not. I, I assume you can. That didn't just do a little bite. All right. A little mini lobster pork. A little cut. Melted butter. Here we go. Oh my God. Best thing in the world. Food gold. All right, well, I'm gonna work on this lobster. I'm gonna finish this tail up and I'll get back with you guys. Whole full service bar. It's awesome, gorgeous bar. Looks really, really nice. Dining area is real open. It's bright, it's clean. Let's take a look at the desserts. All of the different hand scooped ice creams. We've got chocolate, cookies and cream, mint chocolate chip, rainbow sherbet, banana foster, cotton candy. This looks really, really good. Come scoop your own ice cream. And then the other desserts, we've got Rice Krispie Treats, Pecan Torts, Red Velvet Cake, Strawberry Cheesecake, Chocolate Cake, Flan, Key Lime Pie, uh, the almond dessert is one of my favorites they've got here. So, and these are little apple bites. They are really, really, really good. This is the menu breakdown of what's on the buffet. Um, they do have a 6 p.m. early bird daily, so it's $47.95 per person if you do the early bird. Um, the buffet doesn't change though, whether it's early bird or regular. It's still the same food. Um, lobster, sushi, crab legs. And after 6 p.m. it does just go up to $52.95. Not a big jump, but just something to keep in mind if you want to try to get in here a little earlier. Um, and I'll just kind of let you see what they have on the menu that shows on the buffet. This is their cocktails list. I didn't get any cocktails today, but the cocktails, I have had them in the past. They're very good. They're very, the portions are generous, so you'll definitely like those. Featured wines. white wine, sparkling wine, the red wines. I've noticed a couple of people have gotten the house-made sangria. It looked really, really good. Um, they do have an a la carte menu. A la carte menu has, you can get clam chowder, New England clam chowder, lobster bisque. Um, I'm not sure what the chef's choice was for today. One thing my server did mention though is that um, they don't have on the buffet um, seasoned steak fries. But if you want steak fries, you can ask your server for them and they'll bring them out to you. No extra charge as part of the buffet. You can also ask your server for lobster bisque, which is not on the buffet, but they'll bring that to you as well. It's included in your dinner. You can get 16 ounce ribeye, 12 ounce New York strip. You can get a, uh, you can get a one full pound main lobster on down through clam strips and scallops and they have a children's menu as well. Again, I probably lean more towards just going straight for the buffet, but if you do have somebody that's not a big seafood person, you can always go the steak route with them though, or chicken or something like that. All right, well that sums up our dining review here at the Boston Lobster Feast. I hope you'll give them a shot when you're trying to plan out your meals on your vacation. Um, it's, it's awesome, it's very good. Everything you can ask for, crab legs, clams, shrimp, calamari, even squid, so you, you'll, there's definitely going to be something for everybody on the buffet. Um, it's, it's always very, very good. Little to no wait to get seated. Usually you can get seated right away, which is great. All right, guys, so thanks a lot for joining us, and I hope you guys subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit that bell icon so that you can be notified of any new uploads from us. All right, guys, take care. We'll see you next time.